Hello everybody, welcome back to Nerdy Draws, which also happens to be my second time recording because I forgot to plug in my power source. That really sucks. So today we are drawing uh, Alice from the game Alice Madness Returns, which if you guys don't know is my absolute favorite game of all time. I have not- ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I haven't played Alice, um, American McGee's Alice yet, but I really really want to. I just haven't found my game because it's been lost ever since I got, uh, I've been interested in the art book. So I really need to find that so that I can actually get that and get all the downloadable games because I can actually play on my Xbox One now. I also started uh, recording some game footage so I might be doing that soon. I will, I'm trying to finish my own Life is Strange game and then play Life is Strange Before the Storm for this actual channel. So look forward to that. That's an actual dead set plan, so you guys don't have to worry about me not doing that. But as soon as Before the Storm comes out and I have enough money to pay for it, I will play that. Because uh, it, it's an exciting game. But enough about other franchises, let's talk about this one because it is amazing. So I got the art book a few days ago. I'm actually going to make a vlog on this, so if anything sounds a little bit redundant, um, it's because I didn't really anticipate what I was making or putting into the vlog. So, uh, you know, we'll just leave that up to chance. So, this book, I gotta tell you guys, even if you're not a fan of this game or of Alice Madness Returns, if you love dark art or just in general creativity, this is absolutely the book for you. And that absolutely sounds like I'm advertising for it, but I'm serious when I mean that. Uh, some of it is really messed up, but it, you have to appreciate the amount of creativity that went into this game, you know? When you're playing the game, you you can definitely tell that they put effort into it. Like, the coding itself leaves a little to be desired, but the creativity, you can tell because of, like, the detail that goes into certain worlds and enemies and stuff. Of course, there are things that I do think that they could have done differently, like, maybe have less, uh... They didn't- that's something I noticed is that they didn't have big boss fights. Like, I know they had Colossal Ruin, which, by the way, if you guys don't know, is the absolute bane of my existence. I would highly recommend you looking it up because it sucks. It's the worst. It's so annoying and big and angry, and the music that it plays for that fight is fear-inducing. Honestly, I listen to the soundtrack pretty often, and whenever that song comes up, it terrifies me. So... And also, the ending, I won't give any spoilers, but the ending I kind of wish was done differently. I kind of wish it was a little more violent, honestly, than it was. But, you know, there's, there's obviously things that I feel could have been changed that other people would appreciate, because this game was good, and this game had a lot of goodness to it. So I'm actually looking through the art book right now. There were a lot of levels that they wanted to put in the game, but couldn't because of, like, technical details. So they had, they had, let's see... A water level and a level where you could like walk under side the no upside down where you could walk upside down which is pretty cool but they ended up not going with it but um so getting into the actual game itself first of all in my opinion it was really really fun to play I know a lot of people would disagree with that but I just found it super interesting and I'm a simple person who plays games that are easy for me and so this definitely was according to my liking. Now they do have, on the game, they have this game, they have this game mode called Nightmare Mode, which I've never played but according to my boyfriend it's like playing Dark Souls, which I'm not ready for. I don't think I'm gonna play Nightmare Mode. I think I'm just gonna stay in my nice little cavity of uh, happy, fun, simple, easy playing. But this game was... Ever since getting the art book, it's actually really inspired me. Like, it inspired me to change up my art styles a little bit, so if you follow me on my my um, my art Instagram, I posted a couple art styles that I had actually tried out because of this game, and I didn't really like a lot of them, especially the realism one. That one was really ugly. But I ended up coming with this one at the end. It was kind of a mesh of a bunch of different... a bunch of different elements for my other three drawings and ended up really liking it so that's why I decided to digitize it and the eyes were a little bit too big 
and I actually fixed this, but I don't fix it in the speed paint because I sent it to my boyfriend and my boyfriend and I asked him like, what could I do better? Because it looks weird. And he was like, well, maybe the eyes. And I was like, yeah, dude, true. So I fixed the eyes a little bit, but you'll see it in the end drawing, just not in the speed paint itself. But this, it was super inspiring, especially because they're talking about, in, in the book, they're talking about their process of how they like began with their creativity. And it was really inspiring because they were like, oh, we had art everywhere. And I was like, man, that would be great, man. If I could just draw so much that I had that much art, that would be fantastic. So as you can see, I got super hyped up for this art book. I got super hyped while reading it. I got super hyped for the game itself. So I actually really want to play that soon, which hopefully I will. If I could play this for you guys, I would, but I have already played the game, and usually the thing with uh, playthroughs is that it's the element of surprise that usually people want to see you playing the game when you don't really know what's going on, and I can't really provide that for people considering I've played this game three times and I'm super close to 100%. That's just me bragging because I'm having a good time. But I can definitely say that this art book doesn't hold back on the boob, definitely not at all, but it's, it's a great book. And I would highly recommend anybody get it. Like, just look at previews online of some of the art that's in here. It's fantastic. If you want inspiration, this is your place to go. Also, the dresses in here were really, really cool. The dresses in the game itself. There is one dress that I find super useless. Like, let me see if I can find it in the book just so I can, like, reference the name of it. I guess it doesn't have the name, but it's like the card dress or something. I know I know what it looks like. I just can't remember exactly what it's called. It's like like card card something or other. But it was it's kind of useless cuz you can get like up to 16 health in that game. Actually, I think you can even do more depending on how many times you play it. But you can get a lot of health and it reduces your health to like maximum 4 which really sucks, especially when you're playing hard level bosses, so that seems really useless. The one I thought was actually really useful was, I think it was the, um, uh, the steam dress, because it drops more teeth when you kill an enemy, and if you guys don't know, teeth is the system that they use, like, point system, that you can spend that you can spend on like upgrading your weapons and stuff. That's also something I kind of wish they continue doing is making weapons because I have a lot of teeth in that game since I've played it three times and there's, I got like 13,000 teeth and I have no weapons to upgrade or spend them on because I, I upgraded all my weapons and I kind of wish I had more of that. Like me, me and my brother were kind of just going over ideas like if we could, we would add this stuff, because this game, this game is so cool, imagine if you could, like, add what you wanted to it and just make it super perfect. Like, I, I gotta give it to game coders, man, they, they are good, they know lots, and I've taken a coding class before, I have actually taken, uh, two years, w no, sorry, one year of CC+, one year of HTML and CSS, and one year of Java. First of all, I'd just like to say Java sucks. Java can, um, well, I have words for it that I won't say, but I hate Java. HTML and CSS is honestly my favorite just because it's so easy, and C++ is a little bit better, but it was also really difficult for me. I, I know people would say it differently, but if I could, if I could code, man, this this would be fun because I even brought up the idea because of this book of like starting a game company with one of my friends because we all really like to draw and one of my friends is actually a really good coder so if she's watching this hey just a uh, shout out you know who you are because I literally told you you were probably the only one I told about this idea so if you're listening to this then uh yeah you know who you are thank you very much for being so good at things but they had this this book definitely tells a lot about some of the elements that are in the game that I kind of wish that they had done, like cer certain levels and all that. But I appreciate the game for what it is. It is, of course, my absolute favorite game, and while I have a lot of criticisms for it, I couldn't imagine not having Alice the way it was. It. I got it, I think, when I was way younger. I was like, 
it was like in 2012 and my aunt had it and she didn't want to play it anymore so she ended up just giving it to me and oh boy did I have a field day with this game it was difficult so I I finished it within a few months because that's how I play games usually but I finished it and it's one of the only one of the very few long games that I have finished so we are coming to the end of this speed paint guys I hope you guys enjoyed me having a fandom talk slash drawing if you guys want me to draw something leave it down in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed bye guys